I got my tack room. I guess this is what you call my office. <laughs> it's not quite as cool as my dad's, but we're working on it. This is the moment we waited for. Everything you want is right here. We gon' give them what they came for. We gon' take it up from last year. Shoot them a shot, boy, I'm long range. Me and the team on the same thing. Stay down, never switched up. Won't y'all go do something fun ever, like explore? Wow. Yeah, I'm out to run with y'all, man. I ain't really got no practice on, so it's really hard. I barely even practice, man. I might run two with you. Yeah, well, hey, that's all I need here. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to go home and run three, and then I'm pointing again. I don't blame you. I'm with you. That's what I'm going to do when I'm out, See? What are you doing with my shades over right here? I know you have my shades out of here. See, get loud and talk to me. He know he's got my shades. I can't, you can't keep no sunglasses. You can't keep a jacket hanging around because he's going to grab them. I did not wear shades at the school. I'm going to wear shades underneath. I built it. Mm-hmm. He's right here probably. See what kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Yep, exactly. Uh, I did see some shades. Nope, we got no shades. Have fun golfing. Have fun golfing? I'm good, thank you. See ya. Uh, he lost my shades, man. I never had no shades. Yeah, they looking for them. No, I swear. That's the back with the open bottom. Man, I don't right know. That was some. Right in your washroom. So, who had them on? You. You. Yeah, Where? So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if they in there, I bet you he had them. <laughs> you put them in there, didn't you? Nah, you wore them last in there. Let me see the back of them. Bet. Nah, I had I'm fired this sucker out this weekend. No. This sucker's going to work. <laughs> World champion status? World champion status. Coming for the crown, baby. 2025. This this the permanent year. Next year be the rookie year. Yep. Yes, sir. Get it, Daxon. <laughs>
<laughs> it went over the way. Just so you had to get it on over there. Bro, mine was too low. I didn't even go for all in like two weeks. I got you. <laughs> I know my rig, I know where it is. So Are you in a lot of pain? No, I mean that's the thing, like right now I told the doctor Liz said like why do I, I I mean I'm just not flexible, you know, like it's it's something that I don't if I don't practice as much I don't hurt as bad. So yeah. and that's that's the biggest deal is during the summertime I'm fine because I'm just I'm just rodeoing, you know, it's not I'm not out there practicing and tying calves doing this and that, but my biggest pain comes before the NFR. That's when I get stiff and get get the pain that I feel because I'm running so many calves and just hard on myself, so I feel it more. But I mean, that's what I told the doctors. I like, are you sure I need to have surgery? Like, I don't hurt that bad where I feel like I need to have surgery. But it's something that Tandy Freeman, you know, he's with Justin Sports Medicine. He said, uh, I asked him. I said, so what? What if I wait? Or what, so what do I need to do for right now? Uh, and he said, well, if, if you're sore and you're hurting, that means you're doing too much. I said, so basically after I practice any time, that's when I'm sore and I'm hurting. So I pretty much completely almost stopped practicing and just, I mean, realize that the older, I mean, I'm not even that old, but I feel like I've, I feel old in a way because I've run so many calves and done so much coming up. I mean, no one knows all the calves I used to rope at my dad's and I mean I bet no one's run as many calves as I have coming up so I mean it eventually is going to catch up to me and here it is so now I have to learn how to take care of my body to be able to um, stay stay put together for 10, 15 more years of doing what I'm doing. Thing. We jam out and we have fun and we kick it. Thank you. Appreciate it. What up, Rowdy? Doing all right. Good, you? Good. Ah, oh, don't look to give up, you one. Right? Yeah, oh, watch what you up. say. Watch what you say <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Hey, yeah. how are you? Sorry to get your picture taken. No. Okay, just run right across the hall, and then um, Emily's got the waivers, and she's got companion passes. Gotcha. Thank you. I'll take that for sure. You can put that in your back pocket. Okay, you're going to turn slightly this direction.
Huh? Where are you driving tonight? Lollipop. 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 Getting, Lollipop. getting cracked at. I gotta go to sports medicine. I'm getting old. Thank you. That young man is take a left, go down that hall, and it'll be yeah. on your right. Perfect. Thank Good you. you Thank you, sir. What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Is Tandy here? Yes, he's back. You get out there. Okay. I'm getting old. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Tandy diagnosed me. As old? As old. If you end up going to have surgery, I'll send that to him. Okay. <clears throat> there are things you can do to not be symptomatic, but they don't make you better. Right. And the problem is that <clears throat> your hip will get worse. Right. The, the, the longer you go, what you've got is you got a situation where <clears throat> what you do, Catherine, uh -huh. the position you put your hip in, it's that excess bone that's right. what causes the problem. And until it's gone, it's going to keep doing what it does. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. You yes, sir. Power if you need anything. Yes, sir. Alright, good, good see you. Alright. But when they announce that they came for yourself, we've got full time on. Gotta do what you gotta do to look sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Are okay. oh, you got blood veins on? Walk. All right, walk over here. That's what I'm waiting on the surgeon, Doctor Bird, to call me because to see. I give you 14. Every single 
single one of these athletes. But there are certain competitors that make you sit up in your chair and watch. Like this guy. Like this man. Shad Money Mayfield, Clovis, New Mexico. 2020 World Champ. One of the finest young stars to ever come along the title. With the man that's making the run down the west wall is putting together a storybook career and it includes one world title, but he says that's not enough. Your 2024 Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo tie down roping champion, Shad Money Mayfield. And he is with Katie. Shad gets the money tonight in an event with so many variables, so many things could go wrong. What went so right tonight for you, Shad? Oh, I gotta give credit to my horse. She makes everything so easy for me and uh, I had to get that calf up, but I kept moving and made it work. And uh, this is one of my favorite rodeos and it's so special to me to get the win here, especially after the uh, year I've had. So overcoming that thing and uh, got a lot of goals this year. You are the number one man in the world currently, leading by about 20,000. That lead is going to increase substantially tonight. Just how crucial could this win be for your entire season? Uh, a few weeks ago, they told me I needed to have surgery on both of my hips just to get through the season. And I've been battling that. And I decided, you know, after getting a win here, I'm going to toughen it out and go all year long because I want to win another gold buckle. And this is my year. Hey, against all odds and obstacles, he is going for the world title, but he's your champion tonight here in Fort Worth as I welcome Mr. Barnes and Mr. Bass to present your tie-down roping champion, Shad Mayfield, with his TX Whiskey, his Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo Buckle, our Watson Boots, and of course, $20,000. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that prayer is the first savings grace of healing. Say them for Chad and his hips. Tonight, that $20,000 is a big, big jump to the already number one man. No, we run into silver. Yeah. That's what right. I thought I saw him. Yeah, he was he up there. He was sneaking around. He was sneaking around. He just said it to me. I said he said it. He's easy to twice. <laughs> I said it three times. Yeah, I'm I'm like, saying five times right here. <laughs> there he is again. Look, bro. 17 miles. I can't wait to run out. I'm a blast leaf. <laughs> Bring the truck back on in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Every time he takes off, he got my card and he still can't stop and get fuel. <laughs> that was something you were supposed to do yesterday? Yeah. Part of the job. Part of it, man. Man. Where the heck are we going to get some decent? That'll be a hell of a story. <laughs> Corey walking to the gas station with a lift to get some decent. <laughs> I know one thing, son, to be about how I get back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He said, no breaks. He said, we're going to have to Look at it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a Netflix pilot, okay? That's what I'm thinking. We ought to send it a Netflix. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah, it is, it is, right? I don't see how we just passed him. What he was walking. Like? How did he get there that fast? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I swear, because we were walking to the truck, and he was walking the other way. And then how did he get in front of the truck? Yeah, I'm way Man, this is what I say right here. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 
come from a band down, man. That's what I'm supposed to be flying when he's up out of there. Yeah. I don't get your flip flops on. No. <laughs> That's the kids. Get them looking on the tree, man. I don't get the same. Lord, forgive me for all my sins. You got a to what? Yeah, we go to the vet too for hours. If I took the clear out, then you still walk. Yeah, crippled. 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 Citizen of Egypt, Texas, but I've now moved to Portales, New Mexico to grade in my career in rodeo. Been hanging out with my buddy Shad here the last couple of days. We've been getting some good videos in. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Oh, my God. 